what we know is part of why people develop celiac disease. We understand that there's a genetic requirement. One has to have what's called HLA, DQ2, or DQ8. Those are immune molecules that are important for presenting gluten to the immune system in the body as if it was a threat. And the body reacts to the threat by causing uh, uh, inflammation. So we know that there's a genetic requirement. We know that it's caused by exposure to gluten. What we do not know is why most people who are genetically predisposed do not develop celiac disease. So only one in 40 who carry the gene actually develop the disease. So I think if we could understand why, what triggers an individual who is exposed and has the genes all their life at a certain age to develop the disease. That would be exceedingly important to answer the why me question, but even more important, it would allow us targets for research. If we knew why the trigger occurred, we could try to prevent that trigger or block that trigger. Then the next question is, did I do something wrong? So from a parental standpoint, um, the guilt is there that I have the genes and I, or the dad has the genes and we handed over the genes, but did I do something wrong during my pregnancy? Um, a parent, a mom usually will ask that question. So I think researching some of that, is there a medication that one has taken? Did that predispose me or my child to develop the disease? And that becomes the guilt burden of not just why this happened, but did I do something wrong? Can I prevent so my next child does not have celiac disease? I mean, those are all the questions that need to be explored. One thing we can say for certain is it's not genes beyond the genes we already know about. There isn't a hidden gene waiting to be found in celiac disease that tells us why, you know, one sibling gets celiac disease and the other don't, doesn't when they carry the same HLA genes, which are the main genes that drive celiac disease. Um, but, but a lot of that resonates. You know, there is this a lot of guilt. You know, I ha you know, we were talking a little bit before about the role of C-section in causing celiac disease and how it's modest at best, and, and not all trials have even shown it, but yet people really focus on that um, as a thing, as a, something they might have done to, to cause this in their child. And I think our, our understanding of this is really still fairly immature. Um, and you know, I think to some extent they're just, we go through life having insults after insults to our immune system and to our intestinal mucosa. And in somebody who's genetically predisposed, when there's gluten, you know, sometimes it just might be, you know, just you play roulette enough and you're going to have that happen. Um, it may not be one thing.